right, welcome to the show. We're going to have a great time. We've got some guests. We're going to go into some simulators and stuff and find out what things are all about. You know, Yul Brynner is a beloved actor, and he's just a wonderful star of the screen and Broadway, and we have him today. We couldn't bring him all the way back to Earth, but we did find a really cool place. It was the Roger Dean Experimental Sound Laboratory, and I had to use a friend of mine to do the interview. I couldn't make it out there, but from TELUS4, we've actually got a real actual virus to conduct the interview, and it's pretty cool. Um, I hope you enjoy. I was hitting my head for the play The King and I, which I played on Broadway and then on tour for about four years. And I found it very comfortable, so I just left it that way. Would you recommend it to all men? Oh, absolutely, to anybody. It saves you all that bother of uh, combing your hair and bothering with it. How many times a day do you have to shave it? Just shave it when I shave my face. Do you use an electric razor? That's right. Did you notice any change in the attitude of women towards you after you shaved it? Absolutely none. Welcome back. We're going to take a forensic deep dive into a parallel universe. The year is 1977. We're at the Oakland Coliseum. Frank Murray and Mahogany Rush is taking the stage right now. They are getting down like crazy, but they've got a different singer, a different lead singer. So Frank Marino himself has often pondered what, it ha what would it have been like if he would have had, like, say, a different, more like charismatic front man like David Lee Roth or Steven Tyler, what, what would it have been like? So let's just make our way into the Oakland Coliseum. The concert is in progress. Yeah. All your friends are there. Everybody's there. There's millions of people. And you're making your way towards the front because you want to see Frank Marino get the fuck down. He's dressed in black. He's looking good. His band is just vamping down. They're just simmering. Doom. Right? Yeah, let's check it out. Who's up first? All right. Use your imagination. Who will it be? If it's so, will I still be here today? Sir Elton. It's quite peculiar and I'll find that sort of way. Can you just imagine? They think it's very funny. Everything I say. All right, on. Okay. Haze of smoke. Clears again. A different singer forms. Who will it be? Huh, Rod Stewart. Interesting. Well, you know the ladies are going to go crazy over that. Okay. The smoke clears. We're at the show. We just took a puff off a big fat hooter. Stevie Wonder? Are you kidding? Oh, that's lovely, actually. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah, I'm digging that. All right, who's up next? Smoke clears. We're at the show. We're fucking high. Alice Cooper marches out. Can you imagine? Wow, could you just dig that? All right. It's smoky haze. Parallel universe. We're, we're pretty high. We probably shouldn't have smoked that last J. Who will it be? Smile like the sun, kisses forever. Oh, yes. Everyone. And tales it never fails. That's fucking badass. You lie so low in the wheel. Yeah. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. Whoa. All right. This has been an unnecessary parallel universe Frank Marino and Mahogany Rush update. Now, I know a lot of you guys are saying, Dolores, we really like your voice, but it doesn't really scream cis woman voice. It's pretty okay. Is there anything you can do, maybe a procedure or a surgery to improve your voice because it's really annoying? Good news is, yes, Kaiser has finally come through with this voice simulation device. All I have to do is plug into this voice and find out exactly what my voice will sound like after this incredible surgery. All right, how does that sound? Wow, wow, that sounds great. I'm like a beautiful female robot of the future. And I promise to bring everybody back gifts, money, and trinkets from the future. You're going to love it. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Something's going wrong. 
Oh my god, stop the simulator. Stop the simulation. It's dropping. There's a critical failure. Please help me. No, this is not funny. Oh god, please. Oh no, I'm melting. I'm melting. Oh my god, help me. Please stop the simulation. I'm just an evil whisper voice now. Oh my god, please stop. Help me. Help me. Well, that's all the time we have. Time just flies by like crazy on the Dolores 5000 Super Show. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.